Lancer, but like, how did they lock down the Phantom Lancer with I, those four heroes? I think what they proved, uh, what Keen proved last game was that having AoE damage means the illusions die instantly, and then you deal with the PL. It's yes. something that we hadn't seen yesterday in the EG series versus Keen. They never really had very good AoE control or burst AoE control to deal with the PL at any stage of the game, and he just was a nuisance from beginning to end. But it's also about momentum and, and farm. Like, I think if the PL is ahead of you, if, if Keen are ahead, I don't think that works as easily to deal with the PL. I think then you, you do need to actually, because it's, it's, the, it's the way you're playing. I think they just need a little bit more AoE, and it's not that big of a deal, because they are going to have a lane that can play against them very aggressively. Um, I think you, they just need to pressure, and then they need to have a little bit more AoE, ideally some AoE control if possible, that will uh, make this a little bit simpler. But right now they don't have a lot of carry potential, it's basically just Timber Saw and whatever else they follow up with, yeah. and they don't have a good setup at all for A. It is literally Night Stalker's Void. That is, the, you, like, they've got I mean, vacuum, I guess, but... Yeah, do you think, that's the, that's the question to me, is I'm looking at this Dark Share, and I, is this a vacuum game? Like, what do you, what is vacuum set up? That's, ice Blast? That's it. Ice Blast is literally all it does. Yeah, uh, ice Blast, Chakram, that's or, the, the, like, ch a Ice Blast, Chakram, right? But, but there's no, like, big good. AoE disable that it yep. sets up. It's Yet. not great. You can pull Oracle and Lush out of position, that sounds kind of appealing, but... If Doom is running at you, it's kind of the same issue as last game. Secret cannot stop their opponents from just running them down in some ways. Especially if this is a Doom core. They need like a setup, they need some AoE damage. Ah, uh, that is going to do it. Out, but well, there you go. Definitely not a support Alchemist scan. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But that's a lot of eggs this game. I'm pretty, I, I mean, I suspect that they were playing the Elk from the start of the draft. That makes is, a lot of more sense. This is so cool. And if he just goes like Radiance Armlet, he's super tanky. The only huge threat is getting doomed. Like, the, the damage output on Keen is actually not that high. I and look at all those Axe upgrades later on. Yeah. yeah. I I don't know, guys. I think that I think that DP that DP pick in, in uh, conjunction with the save that was, you know, really was lacking in the last game, right? You had really no save to keep the DP alive. The DP needs to be close to people to do damage with True. that exorcism. Mm -hmm. She's, she's going to be able to do that this game. I, I like this King draft a lot. So uh, I'm going to ask for predictions because this game seems very close, and uh, I know we've been split throughout the entire series. Nahaz? I, I am, you know what? I hoped they proved me wrong in the last game. They did. Keen have won me over. I think they take it. All right. What I'm super heard? impressed with Keen, but I really like the outclass pick. I think that was exactly what Secret needed to win the game. All right. um, I'm going Keen again. Keen all the way. I think that they've got a men's wage. I think they've got somewhat of a draft edge. Mm -hmm. The peel's not going to be controlled. And honestly, the, the Alchemist pick makes me think that Secret felt like they needed some kind of pocket strategy to beat Keen at all. And that means for me that Keen have a sort of a confidence advantage. All right. Looking forward to seeing this third and deciding game. Who is going to make their way to the grand finals? Let's find out with Gods and Cyclops. Here we go, it is game three. Cyclops, we've yes. made it. One of these teams will be in the grand finals. Secret, we, King Gaming, Secret, Long, long King journey gaming. for uh, that yep. Keen, you know. Like, uh, in a group state, they're playing, they're struggling so high in a group state. Almost got disqualified from there. I mean, not so wide from the group state. But once the pet chain overnight, it just become the whole different team. Yeah, they played so well on the main stage, beating EG yesterday and taking Secret to a game three, looking good along the way as well. Just playing very strong, stable Dota. They play so well together as a team as well. They're always on like the same page. I mean, at some point, I think Keen Gaming, when when people are asking that, hey, well, you, you know the play style of, of the Keen Gaming? I just play, I, I just tell them that, okay, they, they play like robots. Like, like they have no feeling at all, no fear, no everything. If they want to go, just press the button and go all the way until somebody dies. Well, we'll see if they maintain that aggressive play. I think they have to this game. They've got Death Prophet PL. They're up against an Alchemist. You don't want this Alchemist to get too greedy and just outfarm you. Mm. Not as strong anymore with the bounty rune changes, but still a strong hero nonetheless. Okay, Alchemist played by mid one. At once forward, just to take the body rune right there. Yap's all gonna pick it up. He got yeah, Grievel's greed, so he's getting that extra gold. Laning stage. Ooh, it, it seems like game after game, Ace is having a rough time in the lane, but this time they're gonna put him in a timber saw in a pretty good matchup off lane. It's Fata instead on Darkseer who may have some problems. Indeed, indeed. Uh, try lane on top of King Secret. Oh, some bottom lane, uh, the first splitter that's gonna hit Fata in not looking good over there and trying to get into a tree line, eating one tangle. Yep. 
As the Iron Shell, which he's just going to try and use to farm. But this will push out the lane, which means once this pushes out... That's pretty much like a oh greeting. And then damage. a second the Spit Turd just landed on Fana once again. He's still chewing the tree with the first tangle. And now he hit again and almost died because of that. Yep. They denied the range creep, so he did not get level 2. If he gets level 2, he gets Surge there. So we'll make this lane very difficult. If he, gets, if he moves up, he could go down. Now, one thing I want to point it out is the PL of Team uh, Keen Gaming. Did you see the performance of PL yesterday against Team EG? Oh, yeah. That is the quickest PL I've ever seen. That was so, so high mobility, high technique of play. You know, got everything. Trying to, yeah, he, he lured some spells of EG with the illusions as well. Now, picking a PL in the most important game of the series is so can do good the same. Now in the middle, the start off with a static link, and Yuna just come out of nowhere with a spitter. That, that is 100% spitter to so far. And he's throwing a lot of them. That's three for three, and gives the kill to the Death Prophet. So this Death Prophet is off to a fantastic start already. Uh, um, talking about Alchemist, he got a little bit buffed uh, in this 7.1 full patch. A bit better, but when it comes to alchemists, you're gonna need a lot of, I mean, a lot of items to operate in a late yes. game. We'll see them probably doing a lot of stacks for the alchemists and just trying getting him as farmed as possible. I think uh, Keen knows about Ooh, that. That's, just that's, that's why some action happening on the bottom lane. Uh, an infernal blade comes out. Dark is the one who playing Doom, just like. But last game is not Dark play Doom. Uh, this one. They stop the lanes, they put the, the Darks here up top, which is causing a lot of problems for PL. He might die here. Oh man, dealing so Oh, he rushes damage. away. Decent damage coming out from that uh, Ion Shell, but he's gonna be fine. Maybe that, yeah. because of that Ion Shell, that's the reason why Keen Gaming picked the Oracle in order to counter that Ion Shell and Fortune Zen coming out from the bush. Yeah, Doom's pretty strong right now. I'd say this hero, you know, is, is definitely in a good place as far as being pick worthy. Doom after Doom game, it has been the hero of the tournament, I would say. Doom Oracle. Oh, another Fortune Sand. Doom diving inside. Uh, Infinite Blade. Uh, a mini stun comes out. They keep on right clicking. And this lane destroyed uh, by that Oracle. Oh man, he, he camping so hard and he just shoot the Fortune Sand out. Two points in the Infernal Blade. This spell is just so strong and so powerful when it goes for these early kills. In terms of the damage it does and secret trying to put the pressures on top lane against bl and the track but they're gonna be fine because the track got the um lightning storm to clear the creep wave whenever a creep hits the tower and secret trying to drive seeing mid one picked up the chain mail on his alchemist mm -hmm. so what he's doing there maybe puppy you know he's like man you gotta buy the buckler yeah you know, the, the, the buckler salesman strikes again <laughs> We saw it last game, I think, on somebody bought a buckler on the team. Yeah. This time around, we'll we'll see perhaps more. He's like, nah, I need the Radiance, man. Gotta, yeah. gotta get my farm. Yeah, get some buckler. Very what? low armor hero, the Alchemist, so don't blame him for getting some kind of armor item. Now in the Bottom middle, lane. Spread Siphon. Bottom lane, also some actions over there, and another kill for Team KT. Oh, man, they do so much damage. That's two points in the Purifying yes. Flames. The nukes, they hurt. Zero four already got. So what happened to the early game of Team Seeker? They seem to be powerless in yeah. this one. Yapsaw chasing at Yuna. He's on Ion Shell. He's ready to do for a void. Spit third. Nice shot by Yapsaw. Still doing damage uh, from that Ion Shell. Finally, he land a void. Uh, one hit away on Yuna, and that's the first hit of Team Secret. Yep. Smart play from Yapsaw. Does not use the stun right away because once he uses his void, he cannot cancel the TP. So he has to wait for Leshrac to get nice and low. Then he uses void and knows that there is no way Leshrac can TP away. For almost five minutes, uh, if you take a look at the graph, you see that KT taking control, both golden and expert earn. Yeah. This is the kind of start you, you're really happy to see in a Game 3 decider if you're a keen gaming fan for Secret. You know, you're always going to have a rough laning stage with an Alchemist. This hero does poorly in the lanes and we'll have to see if he can bounce back or not. Seems like uh, Team Keen Gaming really prioritized their mid lane. They put a lot of observer wards in there in order to give visions and so they can have an easy gank on there. Now, bottom lane, KG Dark still walking around. He's moving quite fast with the Scorcher. Now, finally, he lands an Infernal Blade on enough. the Dark it's be close. Ooh. That was so close. Three in points in Infernal Blade. <laughs> yeah, Infernal Blade. 
And uh, the, the, the cooldown is quite bad, so yeah. only 8 seconds. Doing some scan for the Radiant, and now they know that Yuna and the another support, Jiang, is ready to gang them down. Uh, Yapso being double teamed by Jiang and Yuna, shooting the Fortune Send, and maybe follow up with a split turn and Lightning Storm. Dark is ready for the Inferno Blade, didn't even have to do that, but he's just gonna find someone inside. It's Faza, stay behind oh. the tower. They have maybe. Doom. Doom is teeping top with his ultimate. Oh my. I don't think Timbersaw is ready for this. He just used the mangoes in the trees and he's he gonna die. Doom is here. A Doom on a Timbersaw and also the Spirit Lands are all the spells on a Timbersaw. All he can do is just walking away, getting slashed down by Inferno Blade and he's also spamming Spirit Lands. Oh my. Dark is just a genius. That was such a smart play. He goes into the trees after diving bottom for the kill, double mango so he gets his mana back and he can TP top. And then ulties the Timbersaw. Now, you know, they're winning bottom lane, mid lane's going pretty decent. Top lane, PL was struggling a bit. He was being pressured even though he was farming, but you rotate like that and suddenly you open up the lane for the carry to free farm while killing the Timbersaw. God, that is a wonderful multitask play by Dark, the in-game leader, the drafter, the coach, the offlaner. He's everything of the team at the moment. Sounds like we need to just clone Dark. We need five Darks yeah, on the team. Yeah, five Dark, indeed. Uh, dropping a split turn and also, oh my goodness, Puppy destroyed uh, in the mid lane with the Dead Prophet. One seventh already. What happened to Secret during yep. the break? They have to go full comeback mode with the Alchemist. Mid one does have stacks that he can farm in the jungle. So he's gonna, that's why he's giving the mid lane to Puppy to try and get Ancient Apparition, his level six experience. But Alchemist is not fully equipped to jungle. Just three points in Acid Spray, three points in the Grievous Greed. He's slowly getting to that jungle Alchemist status. Bottom lane, oh, they oh, want Fata. Oh, yep, Fata hit oh, the so purge. aggressive, uh, shooting the Fortune 10. This Fortune 10 just make me, you know, remind me the unstable concoction in, in Dota 1. You know, no matter how how far you run, uh, you're still being hit by the Fortune 10 <laughs> anyway. We'll chase you across the map, but yeah, he gets awesome. far enough away there at least. One button, unstable concoction, and we also have the Alchemist in this one. It seems like he didn't add any unstable concoction here. He went for level 3 grid with Greet. Yep. Bottom lane is going to be quite hard for Fada dealing with that Oracle. They keep him so far away and now because of that they can take this bottom tier 1 tower or at least get some more damage out. Mid one's going to bottle up a double damage rune and needs to be careful here. Fortune sent once again, charging and then follow up with the KT Chai. Chai comes in, split earth from the lower ground and also the team up with the damage of Spirit Siphon. Maybe a Crypt Swarm would be great, didn't even have to use it. One eighth already, going for more. Yapso trying to hunt the mid tier one oh, tower. Yuna. Split earth just gonna hit him from long, long range. That was split earth from downtown. Yapso down and that's a double kill for Chai. Oh my, every little play there. They purge off the cold feet with the fortunes and Yuna chases, he's got a hundred oh. health. My. And he just goes chasing and for top a top lane, about to get oh, crushed once team. again. It's Timasaw, Doom, and Inferno Blade to finish him off in style. Oh, oh no, no, he's healing. Oh. How did okay. he survive that one? Ace, 20 reactive charges with the Hood of Defiance. He regens through it. They needed that. If they got that kill top, man, they're playing so aggressive. If that kill top, though, really helping Secret out. And then I was like, Ooh. killing that Timasaw in style. <laughs> and then he didn't kill anyone. In the the cast a curse, man. That guy died. Cast a curse. Oh my goodness. They, that, I mean, that's the thing. You play this super aggressive, sometimes you, you, you're going to go a bit too far, go a yeah. bit too deep, and you get punished. But it's the kind of play from King Gaming that has worked for them and gotten them this far in the tournament. So they're going to keep playing this aggressive style, that I guarantee. I kind of worry about uh, Puppy level once again. He's still level 3. Now he's being chased out by level 8 and shooting from long lane with the Sword Fortune. And I don't think Puppy would get oh, away from that. they may have gone too far though. Uh, however, Yapsaw coming from the higher ground, uh, coming in with the first void. I think Not Proper was like, uh, suddenly realized, oh, I only have one Spirit Siphon left. I cannot afford to take too much damage here. At, at, at first we thought that the Oracle is going to be uh, going to be played super defensively, but it seems like no, it's just going to do very, very offense with the um, Fortune Zen all around the map. Yeah, the third spell does such a high amount of damage that they're able to just go chasing for these kills. Now he also used the Fate Edict and also Purifying Flame uh, on the Dead Prophet in order to heal him up. Uh, the Ghost is coming back into his body and he's gonna get some HP back. Meanwhile... Bottom lane, Fata, he might just die. Oh, very close to PL. He just killed off the AA. 
this carry PL is suddenly getting all kinds of space. He's finding kills. He's taking the bottom tier one tower early, which giving giving his team a lot of room and for himself to make these moves. And I'm sure that Secret see what PL did to E.T. yesterday. Yeah, we'll have to see how fast the Alchemist can get his Radiance up. That's really the true test for Secret, is getting Radiance online as soon as possible. 10 minutes part, he got 2.8k gold with a power trade and a bottle, and also some casual chain mail. So, fashion. Now he just top lane, da, pushing the creep waves in. Creep waves are about to hit the tower that is quite full HP, 1.6k. They, they're just using their hero so well. The PL plays by himself in the bottom lane, and the rest of the team keep playing around the mid lane, particularly that they want this tier 1 tower. Next exorcism, they're almost certainly going to try and finish off the tier it's 1. It's about to get sooner. caught, I believe. And now the Fnada Fortune Zen comes in. Team up with a split turn. All the spells, split siphon, everything on that team is all trying to go back. Uh, hey, man, help me. But I don't think Yapsaw would help him. All he do is just, he just need to run back because that is too strong yeah. for Team Keen Gaming. They're diving in in the mid tier 1 tower. They don't even need the exorcism. Now bottom lane, mid one, he's getting surrounded. They're all coming to gank him. Oh. He's got no TP. Oh, now Team Team... Uh, no TP indeed, and he's just going through the tree line, being surrounded by the illusions of the PL army is killing him off. 213s already. Team Secret, still no sign of life at the state of the game. Can they catch Puppy as well? They're not done. I love the support play this game. Both Oracle and Leshrac have just been the most aggressive played supports I've seen all tournament long. Yeah. Hey bro, I think might be some big team fight here. They go for Oracle first, they know who to deal with first, and they gotta kill Oracle. He's a playmaker behind, and but yes, all down because of the exhaust system and also Crypt Storm. Uh, definitely all Edict also doing yeah. some decent damage. So maybe they they just trying to take down the mid-tier one time or just doing deal some damage. It's Puppy walk away with still level five. He's moving around with 349 movement speed. He need to be careful to get caught by Team Keen Gaming. And this is so good for them because while that's happening, the PL just got a team. Tier 2 tower at bottom, Fata tried to deny he couldn't. Look at the Darkus' farm. He just now gets his Helm of the Dominator 13 minutes in. This is very late for a Darkseer. Anything Fata's that could go down. wrong for Team Secret goes wrong right now as they just lost the safe lane tower. This is not good. Uh, now KT in a small area seeking for some kills. Uh, it's high. Then it's gonna see mid one on the lower ground. Uh, plays another observer ward going straight for the mid one. Trying to catch him. Fortune sends already. Meanwhile, Dark just finished off the secret edge uh, in the forest near the middle lane. They are understanding that the Alchemist will come online if he gets enough room and King Gaming are just playing incredibly aggressive. Puppy has no escape, caught outside the base. Once Get off the ice class. And she and the Persian got caught. Double ganker to split him all off and just Phantom run in to kill that Puppy. Now it's time for the mid tier to tower. Oh, Death Prophet needs to be careful here. Doesn't have any Spirit Siphons left, but we'll TP back to Shrine and heal up. I think King Gaming got the game in their hands. The, the only thing that can make the momentum comes back to Team Secret is the mistake from Keen Gaming himself. Yeah, they, they're they gonna need some like over aggression that they punish. Yes. Or, and mid one needs to just keep on farming and not get caught, which is oh, exactly what might happen here. Oh, he's out. He's barely escaping. Luckily, he got away from the range of that uh, Fortune Sand because every time whoever's stuck in a Fortune Sand is at your Fortune's end. Mid one. Mid he's got one. the ultimate off. He's doomed still though. They're gonna try to chase him down. A doom and also the internal blade. Uh, shooting the ice blast trying to help mid one. It's just not gonna help that much. It seems like they, they are playing. Oh wait, the vacuum bag. They might get something out of this team fight. They got Yuna. They might get that Tiang too. Tiang. Team up with the um that guy. Just gonna go for that puppy. Fortune send to end him. And unstoppable is already for Chai. Wow. Ace is just like, I don't want anything to do with this. He's bottom lane, just taking creeps, trying to push a tier one tower. This is all while the PL just farms. He has his defusal blade up now. The PL has just been free farming this game while the other four heroes run around. And they're not just running around in circles. They're running in a straight line towards the nearest secret hero. They see a hero, they run straight forward. There is no it's hesitation. So, yeah, it's so, but like... like they're like they're a play, charging bull, man. They're playing like robots right there. Like, kill speed and get. They see someone, let's press the button, go in, don't think. Yep. It has worked so incredibly well. And Keen Gaming continued to get further ahead. 18 kills to 4. 
Don't think much when, when you see someone, you only have three seconds to think. Uh, if longer than that, you are not gonna go in because you think too much now. They see the alchemist, they got three seconds and they just go in. And Alchemist died once again. That is actually fifth time already in around 15 minutes that Alchemist Yuna goes down. Wants to kill bottom ace needs to be careful. And here we go, diving in with a team of chains in. A little bit too deep for that ace. He get you scepter inside and a chart round. Maybe a splitter would finish him off. He's running out of mana and trying to get far, as far as he can. Before he teleported away, he was stuck in a splitter and now he's dead. And meanwhile, in the middle, Phantom Lancer get rid of Yapsaw as well. This is getting... Bad and bad for Team Secret. Yeah, Alchemist is a hero you want to be ahead in farm with. You often have a very rough early game. The first 15 minutes can be very slow because of the Radiance timing, but you don't want to be this far behind because you've lost all your towers. So when you're an Alchemist, when you get your Radiance, you need to have your your side of the map free to farm so you can farm the jungle, farm the stacks, use your Freebles Greed. That oh should not be possible. Oh my goodness, going to dive inside. Puppy died once again. The next one is going to be that Alchemist. I don't think he stand a chance in front of that PL with a Dipsal Blade. Nope, Alchemist running out of mana. Sorry, he still got a, a HP regen though. Still charging in for PL. Kill sweet and get for PL and just going to crush down at mid one, one by one, no retreat, go in only, and here we go, PL, Dark, a little bit too over aggressive, he have to fall back, the tower shooting on Big the heal. PL illusions, he got some heals from that Oracle with the Fate Edict and also the um, Purifying Flame, he's gonna be fine, now they're just gonna keep going, 4 to 23 game score, 17 minutes only, Keen Gaming about to take down the mid tier 3 tower, but they decided to retreat first. Yeah, I think they looked up and they're like, oh wait, it's 17 minutes, oh okay, okay, okay. too yeah. early, too soon. All right, let's, I'll, let's fall back. Take we'll Russia. be back, we'll be back, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> oh yeah, that that is definitely the case. The second the Alchemist leaves the base to farm, they may just run right for him. He manages to TP out to the bottom lane where there's some good farm, but King Gaming, while this happens, will take the last outside tower. Their exorcism is back up in 40 seconds if they want to go for Roshan. Look Look how slow that alchemy is moved to somewhere. He he moving around with around 344 movement speed. Oh, and we they smoke to, they to, smoke to gank him. And, yep, he just... Oh, they leave the on, Doom up top and they're already hunting him. Give me a break, come on. I told you, the second he shows on the map outside the base, they hunt for him and he's got no TP. They miss him though. Oh. Ooh. Just got away. Two ships passing in the night. Yeah. Mid one is so lucky to not have died there. He, they're still chasing him. They oh, got the Fortune Echo. Sand from long, long range. And Eel Scepter to set all things up. Not a Fortune Sand, it's actually the um, Rod of Acorns. I'm sorry, however, mid one goes down for the sixth time in this game. Maybe it's time to go up to the high ground. You I think? thought he, he dodged the gank, but the Atos has such a long cast range yes, that they still yes. catch him. It was the Atos, and then follow up with the Eel Scepter, then Fortune Sand. Wow, wow, this guy wow. is a fortune teller. Now he's just gonna go inside. A doom and a timber saw, and also locked down with a run of Aetos and dropping a split turd and easy killed and forced the buyback out of that timber saw. The tower about to go down. Exhaust system works real well, and also the attack speed of that Phantom Lancer going for straight for the mini rack. Rack room back into the wall. That wall got buffed though. Can they defend with the wall? They only but got they, one illusion. I don't think they can stop the ghost though. No. Now, oh man. There's no PL illusion. They really need the PL. Yeah, Illusions is gonna tank all the damage. Uh, illusions, yeah, that they, they, they dropped into the wall in order to create the PL Illusion, yep. but I, now I don't know who is who in this war. <laughs> without, like a, a, without Darkseid catching the PL, it's very difficult, and the X is wearing off, but they still want this melee barracks. This war is even messed up, that Infinity War right there. Now let's go for that Doom. Doom, uh, Infinite Blade, oh, he did what done. he could, and split third on two, actually gives the essence right away. Uh, oh. But no, not gonna get away. PL down, uh, Team Secret still made to defend the middle racks, and now they're just gonna charge out. Uh, it's time for Secret to strike back, but he blow himself to get into the tree line just in time for that Oracle into the fog. Oh man, they won this away. melee barracks. It's, it had 100 health here. They know it's low, so they're going to go finish off. PL bought back. He didn't bought even, back. It yeah. doesn't even cost that much this early in the game. That's only 800 gold. 
it doesn't even cripple him to use a buyback. You only know just to put in and just keep on fighting and fighting until the end. This, I told you that this Chinese team actually have like a very unique style oh, play. PL. Unlike Careful. other uh, Chinese team, uh, PL, they're taking a lot of damage and Z going to be healed because of the fate they take and also the pro problem. It's uh, Yapsaw down for the first one. Secret down to four, but he bought back right away. Yapsaw, team is all about to respawn. That, that's why Team Keen Gaming retreated. They're gonna back off, probably wait for Roshan. With PL's buyback down, they want to get him the Aegis. Give them some breathing room to not have to panic too much. They've got a shrine, they're gonna group up as five, shrine up, and Exorcism will be online in 20 seconds. Then they can go for Roshan if they want to. But and the secret, next thing, your plan has to be stop them getting Roshan. If you can stop Roshan and kill the PL, I say that yeah. Oh uh -oh. no, and it got caught once again, ramming into a train of Team Keen Gaming. Ooh. You know, Atos is one of those items you never see it bought. It's not a good item, but this game, it is amazing. Can stop the Timbersaw from escaping, can catch the Night Stalker, who's got such high movement speed. It is such a good game to get this item, and we've seen how effective it can be. Did you remember this playstyle Dota 1? We call it a train Dota, where, where everyone just going everywhere as five, and train, train, just hit, 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 hit. And King Gaming, the, everyone's all aboard, you know, yeah. no, there's nobody left behind. Everyone is on the same page, running a Team Secret to get these kills. Well, they are on the same train. And it is looking very, very hard for Secret to pull this one out. It's not impossible. Alchemist is number one on net worth now, has the Radiance, almost the Manta style complete. And now somebody just split out uh, to get the bottom tower, and that's gonna be an Aegis carried by PL. There's yep. nothing much Team Secret could do about. What's the plan here? Puppy again behind enemy lines on this ancient apparition. And it's just gonna charge inside. Hurrah! That mid one got caught once again by the PL who carry an AJ so that's gonna be another kill for Jewel. Four one minutes, every spell in order to save the PL. Uh, shooting an Ice Blood. Uh, very nice predict that uh, Puppy is gonna send in Ice Blood, so Tian just use the four one minutes first in order to heal too. Yep. And we're seeing why Puppy goes on the other side of the map, because when you throw this Ice Blast, it has a longer AoE the further you throw it. So he's Sitting outside the enemy base, same thing as last game, just to throw this bigger AoE Ice Blast. Oh, that's why. But, it, you know, it's, it's you have to predict where it's going to go. The good thing about the short one is, if a hero is stunned, you know, they're stunned and it's going to hit. Well, Nox will say that uh, the reason that Puppy went in here in a dire side last game is because he's trying to find some career, but maybe the, another reason is he's trying to shoot that Ice Blast from the yep. long range, and that's a very good point for you. So, he wants... Hopefully, throw it and then you can TP back home to like plant an ice vortex. You can theoretically TP while it's midair as long as you don't have to release it during your TP time. But for Keen Gaming, they're going to play it safe. They take out all the shrines one by one. They're going to wait for their next couple items. The courier almost scouts Puppy there. Now it's come down to the experience. Can they just hold their nervous and just end this game after such a big, big early game at once? Yeah. They've got double BKB and Sanj on the courier. Now look at that, the teleport down to the try is going to be 4v2 game score. Nope, not, I mean 4v2 players of Team Secret. Now going straight to that alchemist, he's just going to buy from town with his fall from risk and waiting until his teammates arrive. Oh, he the did have the set up for the Black King buff for the Doom. He's going to be fine. And a Doom on that alchemist, where is the Phantom Lancer? The boss is right here, keep on slashing. The big army of Phantom Lancer is here, double ganker to split them all off. And just going for that alchemist. Alchemist still on the doom effect, and it's however by Thorn. Alchemist uh, trying to drag that Phantom Lancer into the wall replica, but it seems like he's not gonna buy that uh, unserved streak. And that this might be a little bit comeback from Team Secret, but yeah, they still they still have to deal with that Phantom Lancer. Now running out mana authority for the days. Get ready for Team Soul Blade slow. Fortune Set comes in. No, I don't think Team Soul is gonna get out of there. Killing spree ended by Phantom Lancer. Still, we have to do a look at the fight we can to see who actually oh, won that one. Definitely secret. Two buybacks on Keen Gaming. There were a couple really key mistakes that happened there that Secret took advantage of. The Death Prophet, the BKB delivered on the courier, went into the backpack, so Death Prophet could not BKB. And because they went on the Oracle, they forced Oracle to use 
his ultimate on himself. That but, is the key point yeah. that you have to force this Oracle to use spell to save his own self right. instead of saving his teammate. Because if he use that ball promise to save the hard carry, that's gonna be a deep trouble for yep. Team Secret. The second he used false promise on himself, they ignore him. They said, okay, we'll let you heal. We're gonna now kill this Death Prophet, who unfortunately did not have BKB. But gosh, the next problem is right now King Gaming is not gonna stop pushing when Secret will need some time to farm for that alchemy. The King knows about that and they're just gonna keep charging in, throwing in the split land first. They're already on the high ground. A silence on that Phantom Lancer and then drop a split turn going straight for that alchemy. The alchemy turn on his ultimate. Some HP regen double ganker just gonna keep him alive for a while. But he's still gonna take damage from the chakra. Gonna come back full HP full mana. Walking back just a little bit on the BKB. What a great CD we have right here. It seems like King Gaming is just gonna take a breath a bit, walking back to the high ground and wait for the next wave. Yeah, Secret are defending very, very well. King Gaming perhaps throwing a bit too much into these pushes and these buybacks, but they're gonna have to slow it down now. They lost the Aegis. No buybacks except for the Ancient Apparition after a hectic sequence of events. And we'll oh. see if they go again. They've got Exorcism. I don't actually think they're gonna hold off, hold off because they want to get that second lane of racks. They know the Alchemist could theoretically catch up this game. That Phantom Lancer, it's just like, you know, you, you know that he is excess, but you can't touch him. He's just like the internet. And now he's just gonna go for the tower. Only few hits away. One hit now, there goes the tower. Maybe a start a team fight right here. Phantom Lancer comes in. Here we go to start attacking on that alchemy. He's running out of mana. He's already shooting in the ice bar and vacuum, but no wall. No wall. But that was a great vacuum, but just it's just unlucky that Secret heal. doesn't have any the damage to follow up. Seems like that Chai just gonna go back, uh, pop the Black King bar and turn on the EU Scepter on someone in order to oh, stop the situations. Now. Uh, now he's healed by that Oracle with the Fate Edict and also the Purifying Flame now comes in with the Phantom Lancer dropping Splitter, not gonna hit anyone. However, it's time to breed for both sides. I think King Gaming, their push may be over here with Exorcism wearing off. I'd be surprised if they kept pushing forward, but you know, this is a team that doesn't seem to know the they, word back. They can't spell back. Yeah. You know, you have your chat wheel, you put your different things in there. They did not put back back on their chat these wheels. These guys, these guys must be like, they can only spell G and O. They are Alpha Go. <laughs> you see their keyboard, there's two letters yeah. on there. D O, Alpha Go. But they do decide now is not the time to force this game to end. Their lineup is still very strong late game. Alchemist is a hero that, you know, he does get scary yes. with items, but he's not like the best late game carry out there. We'll see how well Keen Gaming can transition themselves. The double BKBs is theoretically the time where they are at their peak on Keen Gaming, but they need to be careful about how they play these fights. The last few just seem a little bit too rushed, and Secret have taken advantage of some mistakes in them. Do you know that last night I, I was lying in a bed in the hotel and I dream about the last game between teams in GT and Keen Gaming and all I see is that these guys going super aggressive and then I, I started to worry about Secret today on last night? Yeah, well... This is... This haunted me. This kind of aggressive <laughs> play from Team Keen Gaming it just haunted me all night. It is literally a dream come true then. As Keen Gaming, uh, perhaps dreaming themselves, they're in a game three having beaten EG and now forcing Secret to the limit. Who would have thought coming to this tournament? 10 to 33. We yeah. don't see Secret in this such a hard situation for a for long, long time. Months already. Now here we go. They're just going to go straight in. Uh, they can only spell G or oh, nice, nice use Scepter in order to draw that unstable concoction. Are you guys ready for the big team fight right here? If Secret loses team fight, they're probably gonna lose another set of racks. Pop the Black King bar getting ready for all the spell to get rid of the puppy first. Now down to 24. Team Secret still trying to fight. They're sending in a chakra now chasing on that. Who are silent on that Phantom Lancer? He still doesn't have a heart of the run. They still got a chance to kill him. A save coming out. Four promise to save that one. And he's gonna get the heal as well. Let's go back to the team fight right here. Quite chaos there. Split Third, that's gonna hit that Fata in deep trouble in the middle of Team King Gaming, and now he goes down. The chase on that alchemy is successful on that King Gaming, shooting dice button. Whoever can buy that, you have to buy it now. And that's gonna be another split third to kill the Timasaur. Everyone falls down for Team Secret. That's the more patient, calculated team fight that King Gaming showed there. I think a few team fights that they rushed, and now they're like, okay, let's calm down, let's wait for a better initiation. 
they kind of kite around a bit better, and most importantly, PL finds the ancient apparition. If Oracle is the key hero for Secret to kill in the side of the fight, it's AA on Team Secret. Once Puppy gets gone on, he can't throw a good Ice Blast, and he unfortunately just has to rush an Ice Blast, only hits the PL, didn't get to combo with his team, and the Ice Blast was just not a threat in that fight because of it. And PL only need 2.5 seconds to deal with that ancient apparition. That's yeah. it. That's well, quite scary. Next fight, he's going to have a heart of Terras, so he's going to be that yes. much more tankier. Yes. Very good item to have against these lineups that want to blow you up. While you can't heal from the heart during like an AA Ice Blast, the idea is that you just have so much health, they can't kill you at all. From my 350 game of PL, you know, once you got the heart of Terras, the game should end right there. And now, nice dodge at the Antibal on top. Can be the use after once again to get back to that. A nice save on the fourth form. It's already used the ultimate, shooting in the Fortune Zen, hoping to hit another target. But nope, but it's, it was only Alchemist, though. Coming from the sideways, it's gonna be PL. The Rochan is up. Yep. PL, let's see. We got back by Rochan. Oh, almost got back by the Rochan. Now, PL is walking out. Oh, they guessed wrong. They went for the wrong illusion. Yeah, it, it, they could have actually killed him there. It's interesting that PL didn't go for a Shadow Blade on this game. He always go for a Shadow Blade. And he doesn't PL. have Manta style against the Silence, so if they guess the right PL, they can actually lock him down and burst him there. Oracle didn't have ultimate. Neither did Ex there was no Exorcism or Doom as well. That was perhaps a chance for Secret to find an opening, but but, but bro, it's the 3.2k HP already on PL. Yeah, with the heart now, he's very hard to kill. It's like it's like you are fighting in a boxing. You're fighting in different weight. This guy is heavyweight. Now here we go. Top lane, getting up for Team Secret. Still don't know what's gonna happen. Now the rest of Team Keen Gaming just go back to the Roshan pit, getting ready yep. for um, the second Aegis and the Chiefs. Yeah, and it's quite scary because this Alchemist has remained not all that far. He's number three on net worth. Secret gonna smoke. They wanna stop them from Roshan. Really? Exorcism hasn't been used here. It looks like Keen Gaming know this is happening because they're backing out of the Roshan pit. They're gonna lay a trap of their own. Oh no. Oh, both yeah, teams so see each other. Turn on now, here comes the night time. It's time for the party. Let's go. Puppy in front line. He needs to be careful. Okay. Stuns himself. Yep, he just needs to come back and shy. Use the uh, G1 Sky, and now he's just gonna catch out that Alchemist right now. Mana is right in the center of the wall, and every uh, goddamn spell in a small area. Shooting in the Ice Fly as well. The shot cram, everything, but still looking pretty healthy for Team Club. Keen just gonna go for this one. Uh, Phantom Lancer, they still gonna fight the real Phantom Big Lancer. Deal. Four torments uh, being used on the Phantom Lancer as well. Team is all running out of mana because of a lot of mana burn from that Team of Blade. He truly be the next one who goes down with a double kill. Of that Mebius. No, man. Next one is going to be bottom set of rack without a bottom tier 3 tower. They call Yapsor as well, and he's dead, so this may just be the second lane. Buybacks are going to go streaming through. They saw them out with the illusions of that PL. 11 to 41 game score. Unbelievable performance coming out from that team gaming. They are about to get another set of racks and forcing Team Secret to call a GD, but still no sign of that one yet. Yeah, they have to get this last lane of racks possibly before it's game over. They're going to fall back and go for Roshan instead. They want to play it safe. They see the scoreboard. They're like, we're, we're looking really good here. Let's not throw away this lead. Secret is still a very dangerous team. I'm pretty sure that one of them still asking, hey, are we going to win this one? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, they, uh, because that, that's, the, that's the beauty of Dota 2. The, the, yep. the fact of the, um, the comeback mechanic is just too strong. Secret. Now, Secret, this might be the last hand of Team Secret. If they can win this one, they truly still, I mean, they, they still hang on in the game. But nice if blast. they lose, I'm pretty sure the team is going to seal the deal. Bomb the Black King by Infernal Blade no on that Alchemist dying. already. If they can get rid of Alchemist first. Oh, nice, uh, using Manta style to dodge the Fortune set. But Alchemist doesn't look healthy anyway. But they, yep, they got the support first. Split third, uh, no more. Because no more electric cards going straight for the Alchemist, Alchemist, he did see had a buyback, no buyback indeed. 53 second cooldown, and his teammate already also being surrounded by PL illusions in back to back, but no wall. Fata goes down for the next one. Next one is going to be definitely Timbersaw by that ace. Ace gone, and now it's time to push. No buyback. Oh, still oh, got Alchemist buyback. Just got Alchemist. his buyback back up. Last hurrah. They have ages and cheese though. I don't know how you defend against this. It looks impossible for Secret. They'll give it a go. Keep this it to might Alpha be the end. Indeed, and he's just gonna go in uh, for the top lane of Barak. That is the last fortress of Team uh, Secret. About to get the Mega Creeps already. 
not a big upset in this tournament about to happen. Now that there goes the Mega Creep, Team King Gaming going straight to the tier 4 tower, shooting the Spirit Land first. Secret trying so high in order to stay alive in this one, but they seem to have problem with the EPL illusions, dealing a lot of damage, and the most important thing, burning mana. Yeah, they will get all their team back up on the secret side, but they will now be facing Mega Creeps. And Keen Gaming say, hey, now they can sit back and be like, hey, we're probably going to win this game. Let's make sure we play it safe. Let's not okay. take any chances. You know, we have Mega Creeps here. We have Aegis and Cheese. Let's wait for Exorcism. That is yeah. the spell that will allow them to take another fight. Now, finally, the guy who being asked that, hey, we will win this game, suddenly reply that, yeah, I think we probably will. <laughs> yeah. They one. already got the Mega Creeps. It's like one last hurdle to jump over. And it is the perhaps the, the easiest one yet. The lowest hurdle, but at the same time, King Gaming. You know, they're tired. They've had a, had three long games here. Respect to Team Secret, though. Absolutely. They're fighting until the very end, even though it seems to be like a draft mistake from them. But yeah, with, with this one, they still can hang on and fight until the end. This is... They're playing with pride here. Absolutely. They will make Keen Gaming earn the victory. As even against Mega Creep, Secret have got heroes that can keep these lanes pushed out. Timbersaw, Alchemist, if he starts getting, you know, one or two fights and they start getting some gold, then you can start looking at Aghanim Scepters being pulled. All kinds of crazy stuff can happen in these games. We haven't seen Oracle in the competitive scene for a while. Are you happy to see him again? Is, is it going to yeah. become a trend? And played in this aggressive way against the Darkseer, very strong hero. And I think it may be a hero that we'll see more and more of. Yeah, pe people kind of forget, you know, e even Dazzle being picked more than Oracle these days. Here we go, Exorcism back up in 10 seconds and the, the call is to group up towards mid. They picked up all, all of those bounty runes at 35 minutes and now they have more gold, more money to play around with. Nah. Here go King Gaming. Yeah, here go King's Gaming indeed, and they, they let that Doom and Phantom Lancer in front. Uh, Phantom Lancer with 3.4k HP. They started to fight with Open the G1's guard and just go straight for the mid tier 3 tower. Uh, for, I'm sorry, tier 4 tower. Back to back into the wall. That might be the last wall. They have to defend on this one. Sending in the Ice Bar, but everyone just fought with the Black King Bar, so they all are safe from the medical damage. And that's gonna be Puppy. Puppy first one goes down, 4 5 already. Seems to be very hard to defend right now for Team Secret. Everyone can buy back. They have to buy it now. Go Straight for the tower, in order to stop them from coming out from the file ten. Going straight for that. Oh man, Alchemy died a 70 second without a buyback. It's time to call GG for Team Secret. King Gaming gets through the grand finals of TSC Thailand Bangkok Minor. What a performance from Gaming. You know, they showed yesterday was was not the end of King Gaming. They upset EG. And now they upset Team Secret, the two big Western names here at this tournament. They are in the grand...